What's going on, my Fro Force? You're Joan Bulgy Bokes, and we're back for another part of Let's Play Bravely Second Blind. Miss Lee is Florum's new superintendent of education. She's here to make an important decision about the new school. And this guy, I just realized he's gonna be completely flustered, or not flustered, he's gonna be giddy because he's got an old quote unquote acquaintance on his side. Oh, amazing! Daughter of the Grand Marshal, nice captain of the Ducal Guard. And now a superintendent, too! Superintendent Lee. Ha! Ah. Would you give it a rest, Tiz? Nope. So, why are you so gung-ho about co-education? What drove you to be the leader of this movement? Uh, I guess I just wanted to make this new school into something like the Sky Knights. Like the Sky Knights? Yes, ma'am. In the Sky Knights, I served alongside both men and women, everyone laughing and working together. Sure, we didn't always see eye to eye. Sometimes we even came to blows, but we were always there for each other. I want every young person to be able to experience that kind of camaraderie. That's my real dream. Sounds good. I've even thought of a name for the new school. How about... The Florum Academy of Passion and Pedagogy. I don't know about pedagogy. That's certainly a name. I like it. Mm -hmm. The Florum School of Burning Passion and Pecs. Oh, no. Uh, well, what in the world? Oh, my God, it's him. Little friend, it's been far too long, I'd say. What was your name again? Tracksuit, sir. Sweaty tracksuit. I was under your direct command, sir. Oh, ho, ho. and if it ain't Idia, how you been, girly? Uh, great. Thanks, Ferris. Well, you know, Holly did mention him. What an imposing friend you have, Idia. Aren't you going to introduce us? He was one of the helmsmen of the Sky Knights, a main division of the Eternian forces. That's right! Feast your eyes on this! You're looking at the legendary warrior, Barris Lair! <laughs> Barris Lair. The beast in the ring. Holder of the Monk Asterisk. I didn't realize Monk would be coming back. All right, then. He served briefly alongside Idia in their time as members of the Eternian Sky Knights. A born brawler who lives for the sound of flesh hitting flesh. He has a rugged charm, despite his coarse and vulgar nature. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? So, what are you all standing around here yammering about, huh? Let me in on the action. Who would you be willing to join the cause, sir? We could definitely use your support. Hmm. I really don't get what you're so worked up about, but you just want me to say I'm on your side, right? That good? What? Uh, yes, sir. To elaborate, the Sky Knights inspired me to create a learning environment unbound by traditional notions of gender and... And he's just gonna... He's just gonna wave it all yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I'll leave the pesky details to you, kid. I'm on your side. Whatever it is you want to do. Bet you're feeling pretty lucky right about now, huh? Huh? Who wouldn't? I'm planning to stick around town for a while, so give a holler if you need me. See ya, tracksuit. I think they changed the voice actor for him. Why do I get the feeling he has no idea what he just agreed to? To be fair, neither did I we. I a bad feeling about all this. Again. Well, Superintendent Lee, shall we go hear what Miss Veeling has to say next? I really hope that they don't have a good person supporting them. Like, someone who's sensible and makes sense. Uh, like, dude, I, I, I sympathize with your cause, but you really shouldn't have gotten Barris. I really hope he's not like a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Spokesperson? I really hope it's. I I hope he's not doing that. Okay, which one do we want to do first? Oh, I'm going back into the underground lair. All right. Um, I guess I'll do that in a minute. I kind of want to see where this education thing is going. <gasps> but, but 
You're Inia Lee! Oh, and after I'd gone to such lengths to hide my past in the Duchy's armed forces. What? Fine, I'll confess. You forced it out of me. I know you've come all this way to track me down. Uh, no, that's really not. Three years ago, I came with the Blood Rose Legion to corrupt this nation and its people. True. I was only following orders, but still. Relax, relax, it's all over. I knew I had to do something to atone for my crimes, and so I dedicated myself to education. Yes, with this. Education for the educationally challenged. Get your teaching license in just 30 days with our patented method. I studied until I sweat blood, and finally, finally, I became a teacher in this country. For a month. You know, most people spend about like eight years doing that. Durham is a heavenly nation indeed, full of natural beauty and blessed with a sensitive and gentle hearted citizenry. I want to preserve its beauty and harmony for generations to come. That is why I teach the girls here as I do. Yeah, but here's the thing. We're already going towards forward progress. If those same traditional values held true, we wouldn't have had a... Th their, the festival wouldn't have had a flower princess and bloom groom. So, you see where the problem is here. Now that we actually have a bloom groom, that means that we're moving forward. You can't stay in the past. You gotta come with us. Resolve. Yes, it has touched me to my core. That sounds familiar. Oh, I need oh no! Um... Maybe that could work? Meh. Better than Barris. I'm Heria Venus. Unrelenting warrior and holder of the Valkyrie Asterisk. I'm gonna say this right now. Of the two I'd wanna ha- Of the two Asterisks I'd rather have, I kinda wanna go with the Monk, but at the same time, kind of ah damn it it's the same thing as choosing the class over the dilemma Eldest of the venus sisters and part of the blood rose legion with whom idia and her friends did battle having studied the sword under the same master she is more than a match for idia in strength of both body and will by what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew well, did she just jump out of the sky? I take it this is another of your acquaintances, Idia? I'm afraid so. The Valkyrie Einharia Venus. We studied together under Master Kami Izumi. What are you doing back here in Florum? Why, for my training, of course. Why else? I don't know. But I just realized we're gonna have to fight her again. Damn it, at least this time we're not killing people. Uh, never the model warrior. Don't you ever relax? Uh, Commander Iheria! Yes. You were one of my soldiers, weren't you, Miss? Veeling! Rhea Veeling! It was my pleasure to serve, ma'am! Hey, I was right! A big secret that she needed to reveal. Your efforts on this nation's behalf. They have made a deep impression on me. Seeing your deeds makes me proud to call myself your former commander. The, the, the honor is mine. So let me get this straight. To preserve Florum's beauty and harmony, you think boys and girls should be taught separately? Precisely. I would not deny men equal rights. But why should boys and girls have to learn together? Miss Lee here is the acting superintendent of education. If you have an opinion about the new school, please share it. I believe I've made my feelings clear. Oh, but I have thought of a possible name for the school. Uh. What would you think of this? St. Florius Academy for Girls? No. Yeah, that'll make boys feel real welcome. A fine name. Elegant and dignified. I wish I'd thought of it myself. We must do whatever we can to see that your ideas are heard. The future of this nation's educational system is at stake. Yes, ma'am. It looks like we'll be seeing a lot of each other from now on, Idia. It's good to have you on our side. Till we meet again, comrades. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said we're on your no, side? Wait. 
Now then, Miss Lee, you have heard both sides' opinions. What is your decision? Ah, despite Barris, I gotta go with him. Okay. I'd like to make my report directly to the Chancellor. Certainly, Miss Lee. Chancellor Duet is currently visiting the Twilight Ruins. You will find her in the Western Village there. Oh, well, then I guess I we can do the other side quest first. Things over very carefully before rendering your decision. Yeah, yeah, we know. I already made, I kind of already made my decision. Although Barris was kind of like a, ah, why? You make my decision harder. Whoa. Why is this still a laboratory? Dude, why is this still a laboratory? Okay, it looks like we can talk in peace. But why here of all places? Why, this is my new studio! I purchased the property just last year! Is it not up to your status f f f faction You obviously did not know what happened here. It seems to be soundproof at the very least. Anyway, what do you need me here for? Uh, la 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 la, allow me to explain. Yeah, I miss Barris. Do that, can you give the singing a rest? It is a gift inherited from my grandfather. Whenever I open my mouth, me, 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 melody springs forth. Then I suggest that you turn your little gift off before I turn it off for you. Ha! Ah. I, I suppose silence is also a virtue. I will do my best. Oh, well, there can be no doubt that you're a descendant of the great Archipeller. Hmm. What makes you so sure? D why, his voice? Archipeller was the greatest musician of his era. Each song he penned became an instant classic. I'm actually a huge fan of the Bard myself. Why, I have every album he ever released. Ah, the privileges of a pedigree. Able to buy whatever he wants. Well, actually, two copies. One for playing and the other is set aside in mint condition. I still don't understand. Why were you following Idia? Yeah, I never did anything to deserve being stalked by some weirdo musician. Not that I can remember, anyway. If I might be so bold, Miss Idia Lee, you are the daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia, are you not? Oh, so that's what this is all about. Okay, let's hear it then. Not that I want to. First, you must know that I am terribly busy these days composing new songs for my upcoming tour, due to begin next year. Let me guess. Someone's been interfering with your work? Someone from the Eternian forces? Yes, two someones, in fact. And just when I was about to set out in search of new inspiration. I have a feeling that Praline is going to come in. Hmm, it always comes back to the duchy, doesn't it? I'm sure they mean no harm, of course, but I fear they both seem to want the same thing of me, and... Let's cut to the chase. Who are they? One would be the famed diva of the battlefield, Miss Praline Alamode. Uh... The other is a former captain of the Black Blades, one Hayred and Barbarossa. What? What? But they're both from the Black Blades, subordinates of my master. The diva of the battlefield. She's not trying to get revenge on us, or is she? Maybe. I doubt it after two whole years. Leaving Praline aside, what would a pirate like Barbarossa want with a musician like you? It seems to have something to do with a long-lost song of my grandfather's, which was discovered last year. Hmm. What? A never-before-heard song by the great Archipelago? Oh, this, this is the news of the century! How did I not hear about this? It was Miss Alamode who first contacted me about the song. I believe she was seeking permission to use my grandfather's last song for something. And I think we're going to find out what that something is in the next episode. So, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye!